Hello crafty friends, today I have a Halloween card video for you. Previously I've done a Halloween card series but unfortunately I just haven't had the time in my schedule to do that this year but I wanted to make sure I shared at least one Halloween card. So I have this mini stamp set by Lawn Fawn, it's the trick or treat stamp set and I'm going to go ahead and stamp down that trick or treat on a white card panel and then I'm going to add a whole bunch of candy corn. <laughs> Candy corn isn't something that we have here in the UK, or if we do, I've I've just never seen it and it's completely passed me by. Um, but I've seen it a lot in US Halloween films or just US like TV and movies in general, and I always see it in these little cute stamps, and I think it's just adorable. So before I made this, I actually had to Google the colours of candy corn because I couldn't remember exactly what it looked like or exactly what order the colours went in. But once I had that down, I just went ahead and pulled some coordinating cardstock from my stash and some coordinating alcohol markers. I'm using Memento Tuxedo Black to stamp all of this down. This is a Copic friendly ink, so it'll allow me to be able to colour each of those little sections. As I fill in this background, I'm starting from the bottom left hand corner and kind of working my way outwards and upwards to that top right hand corner and just filling in all of the gaps where I can. So here I have my alcohol markers. These are Spectrum Noir alcohol markers and I felt that the colours coordinated with the images of candy corn that I'd seen online, so hopefully it's pretty accurate. So I will go ahead and skip most of this colouring. I'm just doing a basic flat lay of colour and then I switched into doing the second layer using a Copic Sketch marker. This is another brand of alcohol marker. I have a couple different ones and I use honestly both of these. I especially like the Spectrum Noir since I switched the nibs. I kind of cheated a little bit and I've got Copic nibs in my Spectrum Noir markers where possible and I find that that helps me use them a little bit more. So I'm finishing off the white sections just by adding a little bit of grey so it doesn't look too white against that white background. And then I'll go ahead and colour in my little trick or treat bat. So I have to ask the question, candy corn, does it taste nice? <laughs> As I mentioned, I don't think we have it here in the UK. If we have, I've never seen it. It's kind of passed me by. Um, but I'd love to know what it tastes like. We also don't have the marshmallow, is it the peeps that I know a lot of people get at Easter. We don't have those either and I think that that's kind of a, a really big divide between people that think they're wonderful and people that think they're really not very nice at all. So I'd love to know what the opinions are for candy corn. Also, I don't know if you can see it on screen right now, I tried some stamping on my nails, which was a new type of stamping for me and I really enjoyed it. And depending on when this video goes up, I'm hoping to be able to post a video explaining how to stamp on nails, if that's a kind of stamping that you would be interested in, from the perspective of someone who definitely is not a nail artist. So I went ahead and filled in a gap there, I felt like I could fit just one more piece of candy corn in place and then I'll go ahead and add my double sided sticky tape using my ATG and I'll mount this up on my coordinating cardstock. I wanted the cardstock to kind of mirror the pattern of colour that you see in the candy corn so I've got more of the yellow to tone as the base, then the mid is the orange and then the top is of course the white that we've just stamped on. And I wanted the inside of my card to match the outside. I think it's really nice when you can do that with your layering and have your layering and matting match on the outside and the inside. I think it just adds a little something extra to your cards. So I went ahead and did the same colour combination for the inside using the same ATG tape and then just went ahead and stuck that down. I wanted to bring a little something extra to the inside, again just to pull in the images from the outside, so I stamped these two little pieces of candy corn just in the bottom right hand corner, and you could certainly do the same thing on your envelope as well. So that is today's card finished, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you're new to my channel, I'll have a subscribe button at the end of the video. If you're already a subscriber, go ahead and hit subscribe. I'll have links to everything that I've used in the description below. Affiliate links are used where possible, it's at no extra cost to you, but it helps provide some funding for my channel so I can bring you more content. On screen right now are a couple more videos I think you might enjoy. If you haven't already seen them, go ahead and click on the thumbnails and it will take you straight through to the video. But that's all from me today, I hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.